JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 2. And in this episode of our season with Mike Snyder's number 51, Louisiana Out South Toyota Tundra, we're going to be completing race 17 of 23, which is going to be the first race of the round of eight at New Hampshire Motor Speedway for the Uno 175. We've already done a race sponsored by Uno, so I don't know why we have multiple Uno races. This this is ridiculous. I mean, it's not even the actual car game. It's some stupid brand of shit that I don't even heard of before. But in the last episode, we raced at Chicagoland Speedway, where we got our fourth win of the season, just before the regular season ended. So that was amazing. But we're still in third place in the playoff standings because of how the standings reset for the uh, playoffs and stuff like that. So look at this right now. As you can see, Christopher Bell and Grant Anthony are both in front of me. And then you've got everybody else in here. And, yeah, it all stops at 8th place with J.J. Yilly. So J.J. Yilly's in the playoffs. That's amazing. Austin Cindric's not in there. That is awesome. Uh, who else is not in here that should be in here, though? Blah, blah, blah. Um, Corbin Forrester should be in there, but he's not. I don't know. So let's go ahead and get into qualifying, I suppose, at New Hampshire. I have no clue how this race is going to go at all. I've never raced this track in the truck series. Well, maybe I have. Okay. What is that? But, um, I have never raced this track in the truck series as far as I can remember. I think I've only done it in the cup series. Maybe I did it in the truck series at online some point, but I wouldn't remember that. Honestly, I have no clue how the truck is going to drive here. Okay, turn on my mirror. I need my mirror whenever we get to the race. So they're going to give us one lap to try to not drive badly. Not sure how that's going to go. I think I'm down to a good speed for the rest of the turn. Uh, I think that was quite decent because we came off really close to the outside wall. Let's just not mess this one up. Uh, I was way too up on the outside. A little late on my entry to the turn. I'm trying to get the car. The car? The car. This is not a car. I'm trying to start turning. That wasn't too good, but what do we have here? 19th! That is our best qualifying spot yet. Or have I qualified better and don't remember? I would know because I've started in last place so many races that I just don't even remember. But on the pole is... is Stuart Friesen. The guy that finished like in last place or something at Canadian Tire. Well, he didn't finish in last place. He just got a bad finish. He went off the track and hit the walls and all kinds of stuff. I, I can't forget that race. But that was last weekend. This weekend we're also going to... Um, I don't know where we're going after this race. Wow, that's sad. I'm a, I'm a great YouTuber. I don't even keep track of shit. Okay, starting from the inside of whoever this is in the O2 truck. Green flag is out here at New Hampshire, and this guy has gotten on the inside of me before we even get to turn one. I'm going to get on the brakes so I don't drive into everybody. This truck is very loose on corner entry. Okay, let's be aggressive and make something happen. We got six laps in the first stage. This is kind of a short track. I mean, it's the same length as Dover, but apparently it takes longer to get around. Or it doesn't take as long to get around. I'm not even sure. Does it take longer or shorter to get around New Hampshire than uh, Dover? In that first lap, I lost one spot, having problems getting through the turns with these other guys around me. I could have made it four wide right there. That would have been nice. All right. It's really hard to record videos and ever have these freaking people in this house with me right now. There's no time for me to record videos in my life at all. It's just ridiculous. Okay. Diving into the corner. Getting really loose constantly. It's ridiculous. I'm having a hard time focusing now. Okay. I'm going to stop getting off the gas for people on the outside of me coming off the corners because apparently I can just use them as um, a, a driving aid. I don't know. Game's weird like that. Okay, start turning whenever I tell you to, please. I feel like the truck worked much better in qualifying than it is right now. I don't have the truck that I want. No, let's just drive it in much further than that. Come on, drive it even further. And now I'm crashing into Regan Smith. Further. Okay, we didn't put him in the outside wall. That's all that matters. I'm doing everything I can. I'm trying to see what this truck wants me to do. Okay, they're getting on the brakes extremely early. Oh, and that's, uh, yeah, J.J. Ely. He's in 8th place right now in the playoffs. And he just screwed up my entire corner by taking the corner like that, too. 
the stage is going by rather slowly compared to other ones. Okay, I don't think I can drive the track at all the way I want to with anybody around me. If they're on my outside, I can't dive it in the way I want to. And if I'm on the inside, that's got me entering from the bottom and I can't stay low as long as I want to. This is kind of how I want to do it. Okay, there we go, getting back on the gas. Set up for a good exit. Oh, my truck didn't want to turn, but everybody else was hanging. Hangling it? Handling it fine. Angling. It's a word. It's a new word. Angling. Ow. Joe Nemechek. Okay, start turning now, truck. Okay, fine. I'll let off the gas so I get the truck to turn, but instead it just sits there. Okay, this time, Bob, we've got one lap to go in the first stage. We've made it into 13th place. A little too late on the brakes right there. All right, get back on the gas. Dive it off the corner. I think they gained on me a bit right there. I'm not sure. But it looks like we're not going to be getting any further than 13th. Hill slowed up a bunch going into turn 3 that time. I noticed that. I hope sorry to get a top 10 in this race if I can. Truck does not want to turn at all. Golly, New Hampshire still sucks <laughs> in these um, NASCAR games that 704 Games is putting together. I prefer uh, New Hampshire most with um, the Technics games. They had it really good. So they are taking piss offs after stage one, and I want to have some good tires for the rest of the race, so we're going to get all four, and uh, we'll get fuel. I don't need to repair any damages, so we're not going to have to worry about that. Okay, how many spots am I going to lose? I'm going to lose all of my spots. I thought they fixed this stupid bullshit. You know, I, I qualified in 19th place, and you just... Uh, well, we're going to spend the rest of this race trying to get um, to not finish way back here. How's this going to work? My goal is to get a top 10 still, but how am I going to accomplish that whenever they put me all the way back here for no reason? This, this is not necessary. Why is my pick through this shit? Golly, this truck still can't turn. I should have made adjustments, but I didn't because I'm stupid. Oh, wow. I don't even know where the track is, uh, where the pavement ends, so I'm just trying to dive around in a freaking three wide situation. Got to go somewhere. Okay, so this is six laps just like the last stage was. I'm assuming that the final stage is going to be like eight. So we've got quite a bit of time, but um, I don't know if we're going to have nearly enough time to get back where we were. I think we can still get into like 13th place or something, but I don't even know if top 10 is available to us. Oh, wow. That was, uh, I, don't even, I wasn't even being aggressive. I'm just driving the track like I regularly do, and these AI are just blowing me away with how slow they're going in, and I'm hitting poor force because I suck. Uh, everybody knows I suck. I, I very much the suck. Okay, I have to stay on the outside because Nemechek over here was on the inside. The one driving to him. Stuck on the outside off the turn. The truck is not turning. Corporate force got underneath me. Usually the outside gives you a good run off, but I didn't get anything. Golly, there's nowhere to go now. I'm stuck sitting behind these guys. And I'm way low to the bottom of the corner a little too early, so it's messing up my exit. Once again, we're behind JJ Yelly. We are now halfway through the second stage. Golly, they drive so slow and so different. I can't take slow and different. Oh my goodness. And for a track that is the same length as Dover, but um, feels like it takes longer to get around. I gotta say that I prefer this track very much still, because Dover offline did not turn out so well for me. I obviously had trouble with how short the stages were and how packed together where there was no room. But um, online, I'm pretty great at Dover, and New Hampshire, I guess, I'm okay too. When it comes to online racing, I'm usually very good unless I'm getting constantly screwed by people lagging or ingenuous. Ingenuous? in general not being able to drive. What is ingenuous? That's not even a word. God leave me. Okay, diving on the outside, whatever that means. I'm on the outside. I'm looking in. How come I don't have that song on my phone yet? I just now realize that. I have so far away, I have... I have... I have, um... What's the other one? 
at Throw It All Away, but not many people that listen to Stain know that song. And then there's one more, Everybody Knows. Um, it's been a while, yeah, I have that song by Stain, but I don't have The Outside. What the hell, he's freaking AI hit the brakes so early and it's pissing me off. And now these guys are getting underneath me and... What the, you can just do whatever the hell he wants to with this truck, I can't do a damn thing. Golly, fuck me. Okay, so we're going to finish in 19th place in Stage 2. You know, if one person gets underneath me, I, I am not able to make any blockade. I'm stuck on the outside for the rest of the corner, and my tires have no passion for this sport at all, like theirs do. Okay, so we're not pitting. We already did that, and I don't want to lose all these spots that I just gained. So we're in 19th place again, uh, but our tires are worn. So will we be able to accomplish more or less than we did in the first stage? Because we did start in 19th in that one. Green flag is out, and we're underway for the final stage of this race at New Hampshire. I think we, it says we have eight laps. And I'm all the way down here at the bottom with the rest of the AI. And Jennifer Jo Cobb is diving underneath me. I'm just driving up against her because I don't want to mess up my corner. Just losing ground by these AI. See, I was dive bombing at the beginning. Now they're dive bombing. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, a, it's a dive bomb 32 some. Wow, 32 soon. That's, uh, that's a hard picture to paint in my head. Oh, we're going to slide up right in front of this guy. I didn't even touch him. That was all his doing if he slowed down for me. Okay, trying to gain all these spots right here. Okay, get a grip. Get a damn grip, truck. Golly, this is so annoying. Let's see what their trucks can do. Granted, they get on the brakes extremely early, but it's, it doesn't explain how they're getting such a grip in the middle of the corners once they're already down to the same speed that I was. And I'm not even on the track anymore. That's not sexy. What the hell? My truck can't even do shit like that. Young. Adam Young. Eli Young. Somebody Young. I don't know. It won't tell me who the Young is. Tyler Young. Okay. I've never heard of him. I saw it on the inside of him, but I've still never heard of him. I don't watch the truck series. I don't watch the Xfinity series. Now, I know a lot of the drivers in the Xfinity Series because most of the drivers in the Xfinity Series are cup drivers that um, obviously like to get on people's nerves. Ow! Why did you have to be in front of me? I can't get anywhere anymore because this truck can't turn. Unless I drag it up against somebody else. That helps. See, I should not be having this problem, so I'll get rid of that fact by just pushing up against other people. Okay. I don't have the room to focus on my own line. I really don't. I still got these people behind me. Why am I driving 85 miles an hour going to a corner at New Hampshire? What happened to the 100 miles per hour days? Were we going 100 miles per hour earlier when we were racing here? And I never even kept track of that, but I'm looking at the speedometer now and it says I'm going like 80 miles an hour. It's not even 85, it's 80 miles an hour. Watch next time, it's gonna be like 75, and then it's gonna be 70. And then it's going to be negative 70, and I don't even know. Yes, I will be driving backwards in order to get this, this truck to turn eventually. What in the penis is happening to my truck? It does not want to turn no matter what button I press. This is abuse. I have the hot sauce so far up my ass right now. Mmm. I can listen to my tires, it's just... <laughs> tires aren't supposed to do that. Why? Okay. <laughs> I just noticed he uh, hit the brakes halfway down the back stretch. Oh, fuck you, Corbin Forrester. I, I'm trying to do everything as possible to keep all these guys behind me. I should not be dealing with tire this bad. This, this is not even tire wear, this is cancer. This is tire cancer. They can still just do whatever the fuck they want to with their freaking trucks. I can't do a damn thing. Okay, so we're not even going to get 16th. We're not going to finish in the top half of the field. Uh, oh, I bumped into somebody. Go figure. It doesn't matter whenever I get on the brakes going in the corner. It matters. Um, it just matters that I get down to the right speed. And once I'm down to the right speed, the truck still can't turn. It can't get anywhere through the corner. So we finished 19th. Right where he started, that is bad. If I didn't gain any positions in the race after starting that far back, that is bad. I, I like starting, you know, way far away from last place, but that that's, um... Uh, okay, so New Hampshire.
definitely sucks. Makes me wish that I didn't have Tyra turned on. I mean, if I knew that Tyra was going to be this disgusting, I think I should have just turned it off. We could have had um, our pit stops like after stage two or something. I could have made the uh, Tyra and fuel use like two times instead or something like that. Because there's no excuse for my truck not being able to turn and just squealing constantly on its tires. Matt Crafton won the entire race, so yeah, he's locked into the next round. Hopefully I can win a race so I can get in the next round. The fact that I finished so badly in the first race of the playoffs is not helping the fact that I'm trying to win this championship in this LP. I don't even know if we're going to make it to the next round of the playoffs at this point. That's how freaking difficult this track just made everything. Um, why, why does New Hampshire have to be one of the worst tracks on the schedule for us? I wasn't expecting it to be this bad. I was expecting much more. Uh, I don't know what else I could have done. The tire wear was just inevitable. Inevitably cancerous. So I'm 7th place in the playoff standings. Yeah, next round is round of 6, and I'm in 7th. Four points behind Noah Gregson. So hopefully we can do something in the next couple of races. And yeah, Matt Crafton's locked in the next round and everything like I said. Chris Rebell, Grant Enfinger, and everybody else, they're in on points. J.J. Illy just had a horrible race, apparently. He was like right behind me, wasn't he? Chris Rebell ran the fastest lap in that race, 32-13. Um, Matt Crafton, he led 24 laps. That was like every single lap in the race, wasn't it? And Wendell Chavez started 27th, finishing 17th. Usually I'm the one getting on the move, but nope. Not anymore. And, yeah, J.J. Yilly started 10th to finish in 20th, 20th, 22nd. So, that's got to suck. Here's the schedule. Las Vegas is next, and we've got Talladega and Martinsville next week. And also, after the Talladega race, the round of six begins, of course, with Martinsville. And we did quite well at Martinsville last time, so I'm expecting a good race there. I don't know about winning, but a good race could keep us in on points if we make it to the round of six. Hopefully we will. I'm expecting to do well at Las Vegas and definitely at Talladega. We won at Daytona, and this is a super speedway. So, thanks for watching this episode of our season with Mike Snyder and NASCAR Heat 2. was definitely expecting to do better at New Hampshire than that, but I guess it's just difficult and all out of whack in the 704 games, NASCAR games. But there you have it. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.